Use a hex wrench to loosen and remove the four acrylic block baffles fixed on the aluminum profile. Use M3 asterisk 30 socket head screws and round spacers to fix the Y stepper on the Y axis base. Tighten hard the set screw on the coupling to lock the shaft of the Y stepper. Use the spacer template tool to adjust the spacing of the nuts on both sides of the Y axis aluminum profile. Use M5 asterisk 14 hexagon socket screws and gaskets to fix the gantry to the nuts on both sides of the Y axis base and do not tighten fully. Use spacer template tool to adjust the position of both sides of the gantry, then tighten the screws completely. Use M5 asterisk 14 socket head screw and gasket to fix the Z-axis on the gantry. Thread the screws into the upper row of nuts and slide the Z-axis off. Raise the Z-axis slightly, screw the screws to the lower row of nuts, and tighten them completely. Tighten the upper screws completely. Use M6 asterisk 60 socket head screw to attach the spindle holder to the Z-axis letter. The two screws on the left do not need to be fully tightened. Use a wrench to slightly pry open the spindle clamp, then put the spindle into the spindle clamp and place the spindle as low as possible, then tighten the screws. Tighten the M5 T-nut and M5 asterisk 6 socket head screw to the back of the controller box respectively, not need to tighten completely. Tighten all four nuts to the horizontal position and install them on the T-slot on the back of the gantry.
Use the 4 hex copper column to fix the controller to the backplane.